What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today I got a mail day. I got about five packages here I'm going to open. Uh, some eBay pickups, uh, some trades that I did with uh, Thriceroni and HH Twin Breaks. Uh, I'll make sure I put their YouTube channels, the links to their YouTube channels in the description below. So please check them out, give them a like, give them a follow, uh, subscribe to their channels. They have a lot of great content uh, throughout the week just as much as I do. I'm actually getting in a uh, box wars with Brother and Cards with HH Twin Break later on in the week. Really excited about that. It'll be my first one. Uh, I got a care package that I got set up just in case I lose. Hopefully I don't, but if he happens to win, I got a sweet little care package I'm gonna send for him. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so this first one I got was from Panini. I believe this is the replacement card that I got from Legacy. I was missing an auto, I reached out to them, and they actually, they did. It is a Clennon Farrell. The Prism Sticker Auto. Not too bad. It's a rookie auto. First round draft pick, so you can't be too upset about that. This next package is going to be from Thriceroni. Uh, we did a trade. Um, it was originally supposed to be just a couple of cards. Uh, a couple of KC cards for a couple of Miami cards. I ended up sending them a whole lot. Um, I think I sent them like seven cards, and I still have a whole nother thick package that I'm going to send them. Um, I could sell them, but I figure he, with as much excitement as he got from the last one, I, don't, I, I just couldn't, couldn't uh, not resist sending him some more really awesome cards. Um, and it actually looks like he sent me more than he was supposed to, too, so that's actually pretty cool that he's returning the favor and sending me a little bit more than what we initially agreed on. So he gave me the Kalen Balage. Rated Rookie, that's the green, and that is, is this numbered? I thought this one was numbered. Maybe it is not numbered, but I'm actually trying to start the rainbow on a couple of these guys. Minka Fitzpatrick, uh, Mike Kosicki, and then Kalen Balage. I've got a couple of his autos already, and I'm also trying to do the non-rated rookie autos. And then uh, Kenyon Drake out of Luminance, and that is out of 275, 225 out of 275. Charles Harris. This is actually my first Phoenix card. I've never opened a box of Phoenix. Um, I actually am excited when it releases this year. Um, I've actually had really good luck opening up my first boxes. I've had really good luck like the Aaron Rodgers. Um, pulled this and this out of my first ever uh, Origins box. So Charles Harris, I think this is just the base rookie. Oh no, it is numbered. It is numbered at a 224 out of 299. So this is the red. It's actually a pretty sweet card. Out of Absolute, uh, Air Raid, Tannehill, uh, well, I mean, he's a Dolphin, stayed with us for seven years, never really panned out, had talent, just was never really too consistent, but this is at a 10 out of 25, it's a really nice looking card too. And then these are the two that we actually agreed upon at first. It was supposed to be the McCole Hardman on-card uh, on auto and then uh, Pat Mahomes, the dual patch I gave him. But super duper out of his box of um, gold standard. And this is numbered 39 out of 149. Super duper Mark Duper. Just a little napkin patch there, but I really wanted it. Uh, I was trying to chase down uh, Zach Thomas and Jason Taylor as well, but... I've been unsuccessful in trying to get one of those either on eBay or through other people as well. And then Mark Walton. He was, I really wanted this one because he's a University of Miami alum. I'll just kick my camera there. Uh, University of Miami alum and also now he plays for the Dolphins. Uh, and this was his RPA, so I really wanted this card. I really like the Obsidian cards. It's a nice little patch there. Uh, jersey number. And it's all on sticker. And this should be at a 75. Nope, 25. 7 out of 25. It's pretty sweet. Really appreciate it. All right, and then next we have an eBay pickup. I don't remember if this was the Minka or if this was the Mike Gusecki. It might be the Gusecki. Yeah. 
think this is the Minka. And it is the Minka. So this was one that I sniped last minute off of eBay. And this is out of 99, 22 out of 99, uh, a little off sticker, a little, a little deceiving, but it's it's in my PC, so it doesn't really matter too much. I was going after one out of 199, uh, missed out on it, and then I saw this 99, um, and I actually got this one for pretty cheap, so couldn't complain too much. Looks to be alright, looks like the... Uh The top litter on this is pretty scratched up, but it's going to go in a one touch regardless. Alright, next package. This is going to be the one that I was really excited about. This is a first off the line uh, at a Select, Mike Kaseki. So, if any of you guys know Select, you probably already know what it is. The first off the line RPA. Oh my god, I can't believe he included this card on top. Oh man. Good old Tim Tebow <laughs> and Derrick Henry. Probably just extra padding. I don't know. Maybe he's just trying to get rid of a couple of cards. But Tim Tebow, he was a great quarterback in in college. Just never panned out in the uh, in the NFL. And then Derrick Henry. Hopefully, he has a good year. He started to pick up towards the end of the year. I've actually got a lot of his cards, so I'm hoping he has a, a decent year. Kind of like what he did towards the end of the uh, season last year. And this is the one that I picked up. First off the line, orange, pulsar, Mike Gusecki, four color patch. And this is nine out of 23. I got this one, sniped this one last minute too. Super, super cheap. I think it was like 12 bucks is what I ended up sniping this one for off of eBay. Building up my... Uh, just a couple of Miami players I really think have a lot of potential. One being Mike Gusecki, um, another being Minka Fitzpatrick, and then the last one being uh, Balage. I know he's, I think, honestly, I think he has more potential than Kenyon Drake. A lot of people probably disagree with me, but I just think that he has way more potential. Um, same thing with Gaskins. I really hope that Gaskins um, does really well. Um, but we shall see. And then Mark Walton, of course, he's been he's been pretty stout. He he was a really good running back for the University of Miami, and I really hope that uh, they make a spot for him on the team because I know we can do really good things. Um, this last package is from HH Twin Breaks. This is a trade that we did. He happened to pull this in one of his gold VIP packs, um, so I wanted to trade for it. So I gave him that Michael Gallup um, RPA out of plates and patches. It was at a 99. It was actually a piece of the jersey number, number eight out of the jersey number. Um, and he really liked that one. So I told him I would trade for it. Uh, um, I don't think it was a lopsided trade. Some people might say it was a lopsided trade, but d -way did retire and I know a lot of his stuff took off. Um, so I think that it was, for me, especially me being a Miami fan, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Um, Here's this card actually right here, high-end hot packs. I hear a lot of good stuff about some of his products. I've seen a lot of his high-end hot packs, some of the hits he has in there, insane hits. And then his um, fire and ice packs are pretty good too. That's like the, the lower end. Um, I really wouldn't say they're low-end cards, but it's the, the cheaper of the high-end hot packs and then the fire and ice packs. Everything that he has is really good content, but that is his... Um, YouTube, his eBay, his Instagram, all that stuff. You guys should really go check him out. He actually does some really good, uh, Wake and, Wake and Break is actually my favorite series that he actually does. But this is the card, the Dwayne Wade cracked ice that he pulled out of his gold card that we traded for. And that is 63 of 99. So I want to start picking up Dwayne Wade cards. I've been trying for so long, but since he's retired, obviously his stuff went through the roof. Um, I was trying to actually get a jersey, and that jersey was ridiculous. And then he threw in some other ones. Uh, Justin Patton, NBA Hoops, Sticker Auto. I don't really follow anybody uh, in basketball except for the Miami players, so I don't really know if Justin Patton's good. You guys can comment down below and let me know if he's any good, but give me a Sticker Auto. 
And then the last one is Roy Hibbert. I do know him. Um, this is out of the Elite, and this is 36 out of 49. That's a sticker auto as well. So not too bad. I don't know if that's a penny sleeve or if that corner's dinged up, but it's an extra card that we didn't agree on, so I mean I can't can't be too mad. He did uh, give me some extra stuff, so I appreciate it. All right, that's going to do it for today's mail time. Um, I Like I said, later on this week, I'm going to have about eight more packages coming in from eBay pickups, and then I have two boxes coming in from Brothers and Cards. One will be a Box Wars with HH Twin Breaks. The other one I'll probably just rip. My wife said she wanted to rip one, and my wife actually has really, really good luck when it comes to ripping cards. Um, so I might actually let her rip that one. Uh, anyways, just make sure you guys like and subscribe. Uh, leave any comments below, and I will catch you guys later. Bye.